So when working with large models, the ability to select, filter, or view exactly what you want is critical. So you can see I here in my, my 3D view, um, I'm going to go ahead and actually add a new 3D view. So I'm going to click on the View tab. And here I'm going to go ahead and open a 3D view window. Now this isn't new, um, but the ability to dock these windows is new. So I can go ahead and dock this window and maybe get a, an elevation view and see exactly uh, just what we're looking at here. Now in addition, I can go ahead and also add in a, uh, a, a spreadsheet. So if I click on the member spreadsheet, we'll open up to the member spreadsheet, I can actually take this spreadsheet and dock it as well. So if I go ahead and dock it here, I can create an interface or a, a graphical input that really gives me everything I want. So with that, I can also go ahead and turn on, you can see here in each individual graphical view, I can see that I can turn on, for instance, the loads in each view. So if I go ahead, I want to look at the dead loads in this view. Maybe I want to turn on and look at the roof live loads in this view. We can have these different combination of loads in different views. So we can really work kind of dynamically with our project and see exactly what we want to see. Uh, this also helps us when we're taking screenshots or we really want to review output or results uh, for varying uh, different types or different views of the model. Now it's also possible to take these viewports and place them on a second screen, giving you further model control or model view options. One other feature that's been improved is the select elements by property. So if I go ahead and click here, the select elements by property button, we'll see the different options for select elements by property. Just in a, the ability to kind of walk through these different things and choose kind of the filter properties that you want to use to select elements um, is a really great feature to be able to kind of uh, look at or quickly view different things in the model. So for instance, if I click on the member tab here, um, maybe I want to go ahead and choose um, all section sets for this top cord. And I can go ahead and select that and see, hey, here are all those members that fall into that particular section set. Um, I could do the same thing for plates or loads or wall panels or, or anything else. In this case, I can also uh, clear or unselect these members and, and keep going forward. Risa 3D version 18 also includes what's called the Quick Find tool. And so if I come into the Quick Find dialog, I can enter in the member name. So I'll say like M989. And I can select only these elements or I can add them to an existing selection. One of the nicest features though is the ability to auto zoom directly to that element. So with a large model, if I say, hey, I don't really quite know where M989 is gonna be, I can go ahead and click OK. And that's gonna zoom right into that part of the model. And so we can see, okay, hey, it's on this exterior frame here. I know where that is and I can evaluate um, maybe the design parameters or the loads into that model or that member more easily. One of the other new features in version 18 is the ability to graphically select items from a spreadsheet. So I can go ahead and click within the spreadsheet. Our spreadsheets tab will open up. And if I want to select a specific member, so let's say maybe I select this uh, row uh, 19, which is M29, and I want to find M29 in my active view, I can either right click and say show selected items in current view, or I can come up under the toolbar and say select for graphical highlight. And so when I do that, you can see that that member has been selected automatically for me. So that's just giving me a, a quick and easy way to filter through and select elements that I really want to pay attention to in my given model. For more information about Risa 3D version 18, visit Risa.com.